Hi guys, it's me Alby. Join me as I fit my new chin guard from chinguard.com to my HJC i90 helmet for my GoPro 10 camera so that I can get lots of good filming done this year. Sit back and enjoy. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just going to make a quick video today on mounting my GoPro, my new GoPro 10 to my chin. Now, most people seem to have the chin set up these days. And so that's what I'm going to go for, because uh, Richie uses it. Um, I think Mav uses it. Uh, most people use it these days. TMF uses it. Everybody uses it these days. So hopefully it's going to be in the best position. Years ago, when I first started with the... Hero 3S, which they were mounted on the top of the helmet, but I used to look a bit like a, it worked fine, fantastic, no worries. I used to catch the wind a little bit at higher speeds, but it used to look like a Teletubby, as you all know. And then I moved to the um, the Drift, and I used to have that um, side mounted, then, then head mounted as well. It was a bit more low profile, a bit more streamlined. But with the new one now, obviously, that's the place to be, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm using, as most you know, I'm using an HJC i90 and it's a modular helmet, so problems there straight away. So if it's mounted every time I lift this up, I'm going to be looking at the sky. So I'll have to try and remember that and be conscious of that. Uh, a bit more editing to do, etc, etc, or keep, keep this down a bit more. So that's the disadvantage of using a modular, but I prefer a modular because I like to get the open face and stuff like that. So... The other thing is, it's harder to mount the mic, because the mic's going to be, normally I'll have the mic in, in the cheek piece here, um, which is what I normally do, with all, which I have done previously with all my other cameras, um, or next to the, um, next to the Pactalk mic, so both mics are in the same place. So I'm going to have that problem as well, mounting it inside, but I've got my, got my mic and my, my connection lead. I've also got some of these little, um, sticker clips as well to make sure it stays in there if not i'll be using sugru or super glue or something like that to keep it in so it's going to be a bit of trial and error i actually started off i had um one of I'll just put that there for a minute so i started off with one of these things um did the job but because the straps have all got to come inside the helmet you can never you've got to mess around with it distorts the rubber around the chin piece and you can never get the visor completely closed so i found that was a problem not bad to start off with if you just want to interchange it good grippy once it's on it stays on there's no problem at all and it's fully obviously fully adjustable and i've got it all locked down now because i didn't want it to move but i used this when i made the almina video so that was pretty good it did the job but i want to make it a bit more permanent so i've gone to um, chinmounts.com now they are a Canadian company and it take about, if you order one, it, they do all sorts of helmets, you just pick the helmet you want and it gives you a separate price. I think mine was about 30 quid. And what I got for the 30 quid was I got the actual chin mount itself with a tether strap and also the alcohol wipe to put it on with. So I'm doing this, you can get it clean and put it all in, you know how to do it. I'm not gonna um, insult your intelligence. But also it comes with a little action pack uh, the chin mounts that's the company um, they are in Canada like I said it comes with a little accessory pack so you've got plenty of little bits and it also comes with a couple of extra um, pads as well so you can stick on anywhere else if you want to stick it to the side of your helmet or on your bike or anything like that so not bad value 30 quid to get all of that like I say don't make the same mistake I made after about a week I emailed them said I'm not happy with them, because I actually saw the first the first advertisement for it, the first time I saw it, it was on Facebook, and I thought, oh, sometimes I'm a bit dubious about buying things on Facebook. 
But I thought, all right, I'll give it a try. 30 quid, you know, if it don't come, it don't come. So I ordered it, waited about a week, never come. So I emailed him saying, I'm not happy. Um, I'm a vlogger. I'm going to, if it doesn't turn up, I'm going to tell people that you're con artist, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I never read the small print. It says in there, it can take, because it's coming from Canada, it can take up to 28 days to arrive. So they sent me an email back, lovely email they sent me. Mine wasn't so nice, but they sent me a lovely email back saying, oh, we are we are sorry, um, hopefully it'll be with you soon. It is, it is in transit. And it did turn up. So they are a very reputable company. Um, everybody's using them these days, because like I said, the Chin Mountain is the place to go. So I'll put a link in the description below, and uh, yeah, don't be fine to use them. So without further ado, I'm going to get cracking because I've got to do it all, clean it, then you have to heat it all up and then get it all stuck on. They say don't use it for 24 hours once it's on, most of you guys know that anyway, just to make sure. But I did see, and I can't remember where I saw it, the guy with my helmet, he had to make a slight mod on the chin guard because of the catch release as well. Because as you can see, as you lift it, that bit comes out before you lift it up. So I'll have a look at that and then uh, I'll let you know what I did. I can't find a video, I've had a look for it. I did see it somewhere, but I'm getting old and seeing how stuff have gone. It was a while ago. So I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that and then uh, I'll let you know how I get on. Also, another thing I'm going to give a try is this. Again, I saw this on Facebook. It's one of these uh, rainproof anti-fog films. Now... Apparently, once you stick it on, the water will never stick to it, it'll just run off, or the fog. You put it on the outside, I believe, then it keeps everything completely clear. So you know, sometimes you can get plenty of rain, you're constantly wiping it with your wiper or wiping it with your hand, whatever, but then it's, it's really hard to see. I'm hoping I won't have too much rain to test it, but I'm gonna get it on and, if, and let you know, I'll show you it all done, it's got little instructions on the side of it. Although when the postman brought it, he did fold it in half to stick it through the letterbox of a postman honestly so hopefully it um it will still work and i think again this was about 30 quid so it's got a it's got a little bead around it so when you stick it in so and also that's what it looks like so once it's on your lid obviously it's clear there's blue film on it but once it's on your lid if any rain hits it that bit should no matter how much rain you've got around the outside of it this bit should constantly stay clear so again, I shall fit that and I'll let you know I'll get on with it in due course. So without further ado, I'm going to crack on. So thanks for joining me. I will see you back here in a little minute. Bye bye. So on inspection, this is the chin guard. Okay, the little one, it's one for my lid anyway. If I put it on, now ideally, I don't know if you can see it from there, but Ideally, in the middle, if I put it somewhere around about there, you can see when I lift it, the release catch for the modular face, it does catch it a bit. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. Now, if I move it right up to the top as far as it will go, okay, still looking pretty good in there, all right, it's not too bad, okay. Um, but if I do that and I hold it there, I can actually release, hang on, I'll get hold of this, so I'm trying to film it and hold it all at the same time. Hold on. So, hopefully you can see that. So if I can, I can, ah, hold on. I can release it at the same time and get the click in, okay, um, if I'm holding it right at the top. So it will go, but I just got to remember not to beast it up too high. So I think that'll be all right, unless I shave just a little piece out of there, which I may go and do just to try. Pretty dense plastic that is over there. So I'll have a little look. All right. So I've offered it up to um, to the helmet where the catch is coming up. So I think I've, I've marked it. You can just about see the mark on there. So hopefully I'm just going to trim out with one of these little modular grinders. I'm just going to use that. It's about the right size to just fit in there. Just to trim a little bit out of that. Just And then obviously just cut a tiny bit off the sticker. Just to allow that to 
to be able that switch to be able to that release lever that latch to be able to come into the into the hole that I'm the groove that I'm going to make. So I'll give it a go. And see how we get on. Okay, I'm back. So right, what you can see is I like to make a slight modification in there. What I've done is I've just gone into it a little bit. Yeah, using a small tool. Yeah, you can see I've just gone in and taken a little bit out. Yeah, and then just leveled it all off and then just a little trim. I haven't taken much off at all. There's still plenty of firm pressure there. It's a little bit of hollow inside that bit, but it's still connected by the solid bit along here. So there's no problem whatsoever. So just a slight adjustment and then obviously trimmed it off with a small knife and obviously done it with a little, um, a little one of these, a little a mini, mini electronic, mini electronic grinder. Okay. So, with the modification made, now when I put it on, you'll be able to see, if I come this way, hopefully, that the catch can move quite easily now and open. So it's, it's not catching, it's not moving it at all now. So if you have a look, here we go. So if I line it up properly, it's moving and it's not moving the chin mount at all. And I can easily not from this angle with these hands, but I can quite easily open it now and it's still got plenty of firm grip on there. So, if anybody from Chin Mounts is watching, just have a little think about that. Even though it's specifically designed for this helmet, I have, and I'm not the only person, that's had to make a slight adjustment just to allow that release catch just to come up a bit without trying to pull it off of the helmet, all right? So, uh, maybe they do it fine, when they designed it maybe they got it all perfect and they could do it but i certainly think it needs um, a slight modification as did the other person that i saw so something to think about chin chin mounts but other than that fantastic product so i'm gonna stick it on now and then see how it works all right okay we're back so um you can see it's all stuck on yeah and you can just see the little groove that I've had to cut out just there. That's just to allow that catch just to go inside to be able to release without moving without moving the actual bracket itself. So I have to be able to get that in and out to be able to do that release. Okay, so there we go. So they recommend before you put it on, obviously heat the, the sticker up, heat the 3M tape up for 30 to 60 seconds before applying and then apply a good 30 seconds of pressure to hold it down. Obviously you can get it in the right place, make sure it's nice and central and all good. And then they recommend um, leaving it for at least 24 hours before you use it. Just to make sure that that glue is really stuck and really bonded on well. Okay, so fingers crossed, that's the new setup. And it's going to be the Hero 10 that's going to be going on. So fingers crossed, I shall now be a proper chin motor lover. Still being able to use, obviously, the modular face and also the visor. It's going to be able to go all the way down, whereas with that other one, this strap of the one, yeah. I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't quite close it. I had to come up through here. And then, obviously, the straps would come over the top and I wasn't able to be able to close that down completely for a tight seal so fingers crossed that will be good so now i'm going to install this which is going to go somewhere over here in my line of sight so i'm going to put it on to do it and then hopefully once that's applied that's going to stop the fogging up and uh, the rain so we'll give that a go as well okay see you in a minute Bye. oh and i also need to um, once I've installed the camera, then I need to install the mic on the inside of the chin guard. Right, so here I go again. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, as you can see, I've stuck it back on. I've stuck it on. Right, so, you can see where it's gone. Now, I didn't realise until I read it again because I've had it so long. Like I say, I got this from Facebook. It was a 
about, it's quite expensive, I think it's about 28 quid, something like that, so it's, it better work, anyway, if it doesn't, it doesn't, at least we'll try it, so I'm giving a review on it, okay, um, it hasn't got a brand name on it, it just says made in China, let me have a quick look see what that says on there, uh, no, no, no brand name, anything, so, it's just a reliable anti-fog and rainproof function, helps keep riders, uh, helps riders keep a clear view for improved safety. So they do a clear or they do a, a smoked version, um, obviously, but we don't need that because we've got the internal sunshade on here. And also, it says long-lasting anti-fogging, repellent water, wide visual field, high definition self-cleaning. It says for instructions, clean the helmet glass by tools, peel off the protective layer, which I've done, and stick it on. Put the anti-fog film inside or outside the helmet. It says inside for anti-fog, but we've got pin lock so we don't need it. And outside for rainproof function. So we'll see what happens if we get any rain. And it says press the anti-fog film on the glass from the middle to the edge gently. And then obviously peel off the front and it's finished. So I've done all of that. I've gone all around the edges nicely. So hopefully that isn't going to let any water behind it. Because that could be a pain in the butt, couldn't it, if it does. It's got like this sticky film around it. A bit of a bead, a bit like the bead, but not a sticky one, obviously, on the pin locks. It's the same kind of function. So now I'm going to peel the front off. And apparently it's self-cleaning. So, looks a bit weird, but hey, it's on. I'll give it a quick... I don't make sure I don't scratch it or anything i should imagine that could be the other problem if that happens there you go this doesn't look too bad but if it works it's not a problem because especially on my bike oh you know i've got the gold ring a massive big screen fantastic protective bubble don't feel anything protection from the wind everything <clears throat> until it rains when it rains it's like having a car windscreen with no wiper on it so you can't see diddly squat all right so you have to drop it down so you can see over the top of it but then you get all the rain on your visor again so it's a catch 22 so you're no better off so and you're constantly wiping it and keep it clean but then you're exposed to the elements so the idea is we wind we kind of we want to try and find a way of making something like this that's quite flimsy but it's stuck down okay i suppose the air trap behind it stops the fogging up and keeps it clear so we'll see um yeah so where was i lost my train of thought yeah so what we are, uh, really want is something like a a streak free i've tried rain x on the windscreen of the bike but we need these we need bike companies um or somebody to invent a literally ceramics type shield on your screen um so that literally nothing sticks to it so if the rain hits it it's completely clear because otherwise, what's the point of having the screen up here to look through if you haven't all put a wiper on it? But that can be a bit of a pain in the ass. But these big bikes like the K1600, the big Harleys, um, the Honda Goldwing, they're all like cars on wheels anyway, on two wheels anyway, so why not put a wiper on it if it does the job? Uh, it might look a bit naff though, mightn't it? Or come up with a, a, a coating that's going to keep that screen clear. But until then, I'm going to give this a try, see what happens. I'll keep you updated, let you know what goes on. And uh, watch this space. So, uh, pop that down. Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I'll catch up and hopefully put another video on soon. Um, until then, love you all. Stay safe, take care. And if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. See you later. Bye, I'll be out.